Well, I'm a doctor. I specialize in infectious diseases. I've been taking care of patients with COVID-19, um, but I'm also a scientist and our group has been working on developing a COVID-19 vaccine um, actually since January 10th when the virus was first identified. So like others have said, I mean, for me, the most pressing inequality issue today is the disproportionate impact um, of this pandemic on Black and Latinx communities. And just to drive that home, Black and Latinx communities have three times the rate of COVID-19 as white people and nearly um, twice the rate of death from COVID-19. Um, also, Native Americans as, as well, so Indigenous communities in the U.S. are also more heavily affected. Um, you know, this is not because community, these communities are ignoring public health rules. This is not because of some biological weakness that we still have to identify. Um, this is because of differences in where we work and how we live. So many of these communities have multi-generational homes um, with a single bathroom and a single kitchen. And this is where uh, transmission really occurs. Um, and many people are also essential workers and can't work remotely in their home. Um, so, you know, my concern is, not just those disparities that we've already seen, but the ones that are coming. Um, and this really has to do with what we, we just heard about, unequal access to vaccines. Vaccines are transformational. They can save millions of lives. Um, that's why I commit my life to developing them. Um, but it turned out for COVID-19, the challenge hasn't been the science or the funding, which are miraculously easy. Um, it's actually been uh, vaccine acceptance. So we already know from surveys that Black and Latinx communities, the majority of people who responded said they would not agree to get a COVID-19 vaccine, even if it was approved. 